All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, this is the watch list for Wednesday, uh, November 28th. We're going to get right to it. Another, uh, Actually, a very productive day today. So I want to actually go back to my old school charting techniques and give you a pure charting perspective of this market in my watch list and getting back to uh, what really makes you money here. Starting off with the comp, uh, NASDAQ stocks. This is a 60-minute chart. Uh, basically, uh, we have a decision here. We're either going to break this trend line and make a nice move up. Actually, we just need to make a higher high. Higher. If we could just make a move higher than today's high, I think we have a good chance of breaking this tr trend line. We'll get above 2600 on the comp, and we have a good chance for a rally. I think this market's way oversold, especially the Dow and the S&P, and, and uh, even the NASDAQ, when you come to think of it. Uh, and if we don't do that, we have a downward... Uh, um, support line here and we break through that then I could see us uh, really starting to sell off and just get a final shake out before we head higher uh, just to give you an overview of that uh, that section right there now we get to the good stuff uh, my best trade of the day was Intel yesterday and uh, it really performed good today had a great day closed near its highs I don't know this these uh, charts you can't see really that well but I will put them post them on my blog tonight and uh, you should be able to uh, see all those. And the blog, you can actually go to the blog. I'll actually put a post up for that. The blog is uh, www.daytraderrockstar.blogspot.com. That's daytraderrockstar.blogspot.com. And there's also a feed that goes to daytraderradio.com. But uh, you can definitely see the charts on uh, either one of those, uh, those sites. Just look under the watch list, and I'll post those charts tonight. Intel. Uh, looking for a continuation tomorrow. I added to my position today. We just have a decent trend line here. We're going to break through that hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'd actually make it a nice W pattern. It's, it, everything's telling me this one's heading up. One of the better formations that I'd like to see. Uh, just a nice, nice uh, pattern forming here. Something I, I look for throughout throughout my trading. And, uh, and I'm seeing it right now. It's just a, a nice W pattern. That just formed right here with a trend line heading down. So we break this trend line. We break out of this W pattern. We should have a nice run. Uh, so Intel is high on my list for tomorrow. Uh, E-Trade Financial Core had a lot of news today. It was running around crazy. I like it. Right now we're in a, tra uh, you know, since that big gap down, we're in a, tra a trading range from about, uh, I guess that's, what is that, about six, uh, 625, 620 to uh, 360 basically. And we're trading right in the middle of that range. I expect this one going up higher. News came out that Ameritrade is not uh, shying away from any deals. And uh, more news came out saying that maybe the value of E-Trade, if they were going to be bought out, was going to be something like $10 a share. So either way, I think this is a great hold at this level. Uh, I think once we break this um, once we break this uh, 620 area here, we en enter the gap. And who knows, you know, they're saying they're putting a target on this one at $10. Eight dollars, it seems a decent enough uh, move here. That would be an easy double on a stock like this. I, I think this is definitely a, a worthwhile uh, chance right here. I actually am loaded up on E-Trade. Here's even a better downward trend line right here, actually forming a nice triangle formation here, and uh, we're coming to a head. So we should see a move in this either way tomorrow, and uh, keep that one high on your list. I do believe we're going to be heading up higher on this one. There's actually a formula based on a lot of these charting patterns, especially in a a channel like this when you break out of you usually go the same distance of the channel that would actually be a perfect distance to fill this gap so just is it coincidence or is it a is it a sneeze coming well, I'm going to try to suppress my sneeze and go on to the next uh, next stock here ISRG I got into that one today uh, at the close um, this one also looks good now, what I like about this one, actually, I made all these charts, and apparently, it's not coming up. Um, this is one I call the three times the three times <laughs> is the charm. We have an inverted head and shoulders here, or actually a cup and ha handle here. Um, can't believe all my, my all my work I did on my charts have disappeared now. But yeah, a little cup and handle uh, with a neckline right around here. We attempted to break out of it once here. We came back, attempted to break out of again and finally we're breaking out of it now so I do believe we have three hundred dollars in the stock I bought it today at the close I'll probably end up selling it tomorrow depending on how the markets uh, acting in the morning I might even sell it pre-market if I get a nice gap up in it um, 
but one that's uh, you know definitely a nice formation, a nice chart formation. I really do like it. You can actually bring up a nice trend line right here if you want to set your your sell limits in, and you want to hold this one a little longer. Um, Jet blue, here we go. Jet blue, blue, blue. Wonder if these things they come back up here like that. No, it's uh, it's not working too good. So anyway, jet blue. Um, there's a potential trade here on my daily chart. We have a downward trend line, and uh, today we didn't break that trend line. We didn't really sell off, so we're still in a pattern here on a 60-minute chart. Um, we're starting to actually form. This is what I'm looking for. We're starting to form this W pattern. All right. Again, these things really come come out, uh, and they show these things, and they actually follow through. So we actually, if we break out of here and we start heading up, we're going to complete this W pattern, and then uh, you know we'll evaluate it. Then uh, statistics are oversold. Everything looks good. This thing, I'm 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 betting on this one uh, holding these levels right here, and we're going to continue up tomorrow. So look for a move in Jet Blue tomorrow. And if you see any type of strength, I would consider actually starting to accumulate some. I'll be adding actually some more to my uh, accumulation. All right, so now we got uh, why is it everything all messed up here now? My Motorola on a daily chart it looks very oversold here. We have a nice reversal candle. And uh, I don't want to say much about this, except that I do believe that we are oversold in this one. Uh, this is Motorola. Motorola on a 60 minute chart. Hmm, not much to see except that uh, we have a downward trend line. Uh, what I'm going to be start buying, it, I'm going to actually, uh, I remember what I put here. I'm going to actually uh, look to buy this one if we cross over this uh, downward trend line is actually matching up with this moving average. So we get about 1550. I might start taking a, a quarter position in, in this stock right here, Motorola. Uh, Microsoft MSFT on the 60 minute chart on the daily chart what we see here and you can't really see my uh, annotations here but this will all be uh, on here we have a gap back here and we've had the st statistics are not yet sold off so I'm actually looking for a continuation down in Microsoft and I would look to buy this one at about 3222 is my target to buy this one 3222 again you'll see this chart more better on the blog and again I was talking about hog yesterday Harley Davidson and this one's still in my pattern um, I'm not a hundred percent behind this one the in inverted head and shoulders still intact on this one we have a downward trend line and uh, we, if I, we really need to break this downward trend line for me to feel some confidence. And I believe we uh, make this move above the 4780 area up here. We break this neckline. We're going to have a decent return in this one. So it's your choice. You see, we, uh, I think these levels are pretty good here. Again, this is a luxury item. And in a recession, they're saying uh, this is why you know, a lot of these uh, luxury items are going down. But uh, Harley Davidson is also an icon. And it's also... A you know, taking a beating for a year. So looking for a bounce, looking for a bottoming uh, chart formation here, which I like, and I usually trade off of these. And it's willing us to task is starting to turn up on the 60 minute. Everything is telling me this, we, we deserve a bounce in this one. And uh, I think we're going to get that. So take a look at all these charts uh, better on um, on my blog, uh, Day Trader, um, Day Trader Rockstar dot blogspot dot com or Day Trader Radio. Dot com and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be up early in the morning on the radio. Remember, you can listen every morning, uh, eight o'clock, and the whole trading day. I'm doing live trades on the radio, on the internet, at daytraderradio.com. Just click on and you'll listen to me. Uh, the website's good, streaming news, and I bring you commentary, news, chart setups, and uh, some funny CNBC action and some good music. So I hope you could join me. I think that's it. I think I'm all talked out. I hope to talk to you tomorrow. And uh, any comments are re welcome. I hope you enjoy the watch list. I'm getting back to my uh, old school watch list style and my technical analyst. I know this market's uh, due for a bounce, and we're going to start. Uh, and uh, charts are going to start showing themselves. So look forward to some good plays coming up. Talk to you tomorrow.